I was gonna make sure me and my son were straight. I mean, I was straight before my son came, but I was like, I'm not, no, like we bringing a whole human in this world. You gotta make sure you and your son is straight. So at that point, like when I was dancing and while I was pregnant, I just made up in my mind, I was like, I would no longer just come in here and make money and make money one night, go blow it the next day. Like, no, I was like, I'm no longer doing that. Like, I'm not coming here and I'm about to start saving my money because I'll be damned once I get done stripping, I don't have nothing to show for it for me and my son. Or it comes a time where shit get hard because strip club is not always popping. You have your hard days. And then I was like, in my mind, what I was thinking, I was like, okay, you're not showing now. But what you gonna do when you start to show? Like, you can't be in here shaking ass with a um, pregnant belly. That's just not what we're doing. Even though it has been girls that have did that. And it's to each his own. I'm not to judge. Who am I to judge you? But, yeah, I was just like... You gotta make sure you got money when, when you get done. And mind you, I still was working jobs, like regular jobs, but I was I worked at no lie. I can I can pull up my employment history and go back. I probably worked over like five jobs while I was pregnant because once I stopped dancing, like once I actually started showing and I had to go back and work a regular job. No, like what you want me to do what? No, like that's that's why in my mind I was like you gotta start saving this money, like you, 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 you was like you was going on little shopping sprees, all that, all that was good, but no, but we not doing it no more. We finna save this money. You got a son now. That's what we about to do. It. And this is like ever since I had my son, that's exactly what I did. Like I just been saving my money. It it went from me dancing to getting money for myself, which I mean having money for yourself is cool. Like you know you you still gotta survive and stuff. Like you still need stuff, but. Once I had my son, the game changed. Like, my whole mindset just changed. Like, and I'm so grateful for my son, y'all. Like, I love my little boy. He was the best thing ever that could have happened to me. Like, my son really, like, yeah. God really blessed, blessed me with my son. Like, he did his thing when he gave me the car, you bro. He did his thing when he gave me my little blessing. Like, I just love my son so much. That's why I go so hard as I do, because that's how I go 10 times hard. My son is the reason why I go so hard like I do. How I'm able to even just save money. I'm not gonna lie. If I would never got pregnant, I probably wouldn't have the money saving skills that I have now. I probably would be doing the same thing, just spending money recklessly, not saving. But no, it's like, as you get older, I'm saying as you get older, like I'm just older or something, but it's just like, as you get older, you got to start putting stuff into play, like, so, yeah, so, once I have my son, this is some steps that I do, I know everybody don't have children, so, you probably, like, girl, I don't got no child, <laughs> what about the folks that ain't got no kids, how can I save money and I don't have no kids, so, first thing I'm gonna say to you, even if you have kids or if you don't, please, like, if you dancing, just please, don't do what I did in the beginning, don't just go out here and buy a whole bunch of stuff and spend your money because that's, I promise you, it's going to happen. There's going to come a time when you have one of those slow nights because everybody has them. Everybody has slow nights. Like when you dancing, you're going to take L's. It's going to come a time when you have those bad days. You're going to wish you would have never went to the mall that day and spent this X amount of money on some stuff that could have waited, some stuff that you really didn't need. This is what I recommend, like, for saving money. First of all, you need to get a bank account. If you don't got a bank account, because everybody can't get a bank account because people use to do that scamming stuff with their bank. If you don't got a bank account, then go get, like, a little Walmart card and load your money on there. Or go find, go get something, like, do something. So where, go find something to where you can save your money. I personally wouldn't recommend keeping all your money on you because it's like the more cash you have the more you're you're just you just quicker to spend money on you when you got it on you so thing you need to do is you need to go get a bank account and then something else you need to do is all right so i kind of like take it by monthly even though i be planning ahead i plan ahead monthly but 
if you're new to dancing or even if you've been dancing a while, just start a month. I'm going to tell y'all what I mean when I say starting a month or like going extra month. So, everybody got bills to pay every month. I mean, some people got more bills to pay than others, but majority of us have bills. Your cell phone is a bill. Like, you have bills to pay. So, this is what I say. So, you got 30 days or 31 days in a month. You got the 1st through the 30th or 31st um, of the month to make money. You know that you need to be making, you need to add up all your bills and calculate how much all your bills is. And I say, this is what I do. This is, this is something that I do. I say, all right. So I sit there and monthly, I do this every month because you know your bills change. So every time the first come around, I probably do it like the, the 20th of the month. Probably like the last week of the month. And I do this. I sit down, I add up all my bills, and I be like, all right, this is how much money I need to make for the next month to make sure my bills are straight. And then once my bills is paid, every all the money that I make, once my bills is paid, that, that money is going to get saved. Of course, the money you're making, that money has to go to bills. Hello, we, we just ain't working. We working for a reason. We got stuff to pay. So you're going to add up all your bills, and then you're going to set aside for next month. So let's just say your bills is probably like $1,500 for the month. Child, your bill, what, what this month is? This month is July. So let's just say for August, your bills are $1,500. And we're just going to make up a number, $1,500. So that means in July, if you know your bills is $1,500 in August, you want to make just not fifteen hundred. Like you want to make more than fifteen hundred because after you make that fifteen hundred, you still have to save. So what I do is I always add up all the money. I always add up my bills, and then once I make my bill money for the month, like of me working, I don't stop working. No, why would I stop working? We trying to save, right? How can you save money if all you do is just work? How can, you, how can you really be saving money if you just working to just pay your bills? If you do that, I feel like you really won't be saving money. So, what I'll do is, all right, I'll save my bill money, put that up, and then we're going to start saving on the money that we're going to save for this month or for months in advance. This is what I mean when I say months down later down the road. Something that I will do, even my, let's just say my bill money is 1500 for August. Shit. My bill money for August, something that I would do, this is just a mom and me. I'm going to go ahead and put up my bill money for September. Why not? We working. We trying to save. You always want to make sure you, you don't ever want to get to a point where you low on funds. Like when you dancing, you want to make sure you always putting money up. Always, always putting money up. Like have different, put money in your checking account, put money in your savings account. Think about the stuff you be buying. Like, do I really need? Do I really need this, or do I just want want it? Do I really need this, or do I just want it because it's cute? Like, right? I'm not saying um, don't enjoy the money you make. I'm just saying take care of your priorities first before you go splurging on some stuff. That's that's what I'm saying. So, to the mind, and you see these pair of shoes that you want. In your mind, when you're thinking about buying those shoes, you need to think, can I pay for these times three? If the answer is no, like, can I afford to buy these times three? Like, can I buy these pair of shoes three times and still be okay? If the answer is no, you need to put that down. You don't need those shoes. Like, you need to come back when you're able to buy those shoes times three. That don't mean buy them times three times. That just means... Can I afford to buy these shoes? Like, when, once I swipe my car or once I reach in my pocket to pay for these, will my bank account still look right? Will my pocket still look right? That's just how I think about stuff. And then another way to help you save money is you just got to think about the what ifs. Like, so let's just, you got to think about the what ifs, like the emergency funds. Like, it's always best to save money. Like, I don't know, like, no, I just like money and I just like waking up, looking at my bank account and knowing that me and my son is straight, like knowing that we good. It's just like you gotta yo to save money, 
it starts with you first. Like if if you if you one of those people that like to spend money recklessly, like just spend money just because, like just just because, then you probably need to. I don't know. It's just to me, to some people, saving money is really hard. Which I get it because before I had my son, saving money to me was hard. Like I want to save, I want to go get this, I want to go get that. We was doing this to that. We was gonna go here. We was going there. But no, we can't do that, y'all. No. In 2020, we need to be saving money. We need to be saving and investing. Like if you wanna me right now, like I'm to a point. I didn't got myself to a point where I make money in my sleep. So. When I say I make money in my sleep, like I have a business, I have my own business, I have my own website, shop, break, so let me throw that in there. I have my own business, so it's just like, I started to think, okay, so I want to save money, let me come up with something else to help me save more money. So the money that I'm making in the club, let me see how I'm going to put this to make me some more money. You see what I'm saying? Just find something that's going to work for you. Like, I don't know, just think about, think about right on a sheet of paper, write down your goals or in your phone, like in your notes section. Write down your goals and think about what you want. Think about what you want um this month, next month, this year, next year or years down the road. Just think about what you want. And write that down and think about how you're gonna get there. How you gonna put it in how you gonna put into action to get there. Like how how are you gonna get there? I don't know, it's just like we gotta think differently. Don't try to be like the next person because the next person got this. You got to go get it too because the girl at work got what? 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 Because the girl at work got some Gucci shoes. Don't, that don't mean you got to get some Gucci shoes. Like, if you can't buy that time store, you don't need to be going to get it. Like, no. Save your money up and then go get those shoes. Off of that, we try to like fit in. We try to be like everybody else. Me, I really don't care. Like, let me tell y'all something about me. But hold on, let's look at these curls real quick. It's the curls for me. I normally do these tighter, but I think I'm gonna just um brush these out anyway to have like a body weight look. But I really don't want to brush them out, but it be hot, so I know they're gonna fall. But these are just so cute, y'all. I do not want to take this wig on my head, but I got to. I got to. Gotta switch it up. I know I see a lot of dancers do is when they go get cars they go get those like foreign cars like a mercedes um a bmw like it, those type of cars me so i just got a new car if you don't keep up with my channel i just purchased a new car and i had let me not let me not just say i don't have times where i do have times where i just want to go spend a whole bunch of money and i know i don't need to do that but i want to do it anyways just because so when I went car shopping, I was like, dang, I want a Mercedes. But in my mind, the only reason I really wanted a Mercedes was because everybody was getting a Mercedes. Like everybody, all, most of all the dancers had, like that's just the car you get when you dancing, I don't know. But in the back of my mind, I'm like, we don't, we're not trying to be like everybody else. You was a mom now, like you need to be different. You need to get something that's reliable for you and your son. A Mercedes or a BMW is good. And mind you, I could have got a BMW or a Mercedes, but the mom side of me, the, the business side, the smart side, the saving side was like, why go do that? Because later on down the road, when it's time for you to get maintenance on that car, the maintenance for a BMW or a Mercedes is very, very high. Or let's just say something happened to the car. We go get it fixed. That's very, very hard to get that fixed. And I was like, no, nah, I don't do that. I don't want to do that. So I got a car that I really, really wanted. I really wanted a Honda. Hondas are very good cars. And the new Hondas are very, very nice looking. So I was like, we about to get a Honda instead of Mercedes. Honda me, please. That's just something with me saving money. Like I could have, I could have went to the car lot and I could have been like, give me that right there. But for what we we trying to save money eventually if like i said if i can't buy something times three we not we not gonna do it if i can't afford to have something times three i know i can i know i can take care of my honda like honda's gonna get you from a 
some motherfucking Hondas will get you from here to the moon and back, period. Like, I love my Honda, y'all. I love my car so much. I, I feel like I would have been a fool right now to go get, um, to go get a foreign car. But I was coming. It's coming, but I'm just not getting there to a point where I'm like, I mean, I've been financially stable, but I feel like I'm just getting to a point where I'm more financially stable. And once I get... Once I start saving more and more, oh, I'm gonna go go, I'm gonna go get a car like a foreign car that I really want. But right now, we trying to save, we trying to get our goals out the way. Then we're gonna go get what we really want. So the point of me just telling y'all all this stuff is because I want everybody to win. Like I say this, I be saying this. I'm trying to hurry up because I be I get to talking, I just be talking. I say this all the time, like I want all of us to win. Like if you dancing, even if you watching this and you're not dancing, I want all of us to win. Like it's enough money for out here for all of us. Like all of us. Don't be that dummy stripper if you're watching this. Or even if you're not dancing, just don't be that person. Don't be that person that makes a lot of money. You don't even gotta make a lot of money to be saving. You can make I was saving at regular jobs. Like, even when I wasn't dancing, I still was saving. You don't gotta be having a whole bunch of money in to start saving. You just gotta start, like, just save. Just know you need to put up this money. You wanna buy something? Just say, let me save the money. So, let you want something, it costs $200. Instead of you saving $200 to go purchase what you want, how about you save $600, then you go purchase that's $200 item that you want. You see what I'm saying? I don't know. I hope y'all get what I'm saying. But if, y'all, if you ain't getting nothing else I said out this video, just remember to just save your money. Do you really need that or can it wait? Like, do, do you can you really afford this right now? Or you just, just, just save your money. Save your money. Save your money. That's just how I save my money. I don't know. It's just like with me having my son eight, it's it's a thing to say now, like it's some of this. Like who? No, I have a child now. My whole mom out here, not a half mom, because some people be being half moms. But I'm all mom out here, baby. We gotta save. We gotta save and invest, and that's what I'm doing. So if you're thinking about dancing, please don't come in here and think, oh, well, I'm um. I'm going to save my money. It's easier said than done. It's way easier and said to done to say save your money than to actually do it. But once you start seeing all this fast money come in and you see how fast that money can go, you're going to wish you would have saved. When I first started dancing, somebody told me to um to make sure I save my money. And I, I didn't listen. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to catch y'all. Like, I, I wasn't listening. I was like, save my money. I'm rich right now. We up right now. I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get that. But nah, we saving money now. Best to believe, if y'all see me spending some money, I didn't put money up to be able to go. If you see me spending money, I didn't put that money up. Like, okay, y'all. So I hope y'all like my little chit chat. I hope this helped y'all. Just remember, like, if you don't get nothing else from this video, just remember, like, you, you just need to save. Like, it's just good to save. Please save. Like, I, I'm trying to stress this, and I can't stress this enough. Like, just make sure you save your money, and especially if you're dancing. I know that money come, like, that money be coming fast, but no, that fast money, you need to also save that money for them rainy days. Like, make sure you got all types of savings going on. Like, you just never know. You just always want to save. But that's really going to be it for this video because, baby, your girl got to go to work because we need some um, money. We got to invest in more stuff and we got to save. We got to make the bill money back, period. <laughs> Have you on a period. But I just want to come on camera and curl this hair for you guys before I get ready to take this hair out. Which I don't want to take it out because I love this hair so much. But look at the curls. Look at the color. It's the color for me. Hello. It's the curls. It's the curls for me. I love these. I could have did them tighter, but probably just brush them out. But if you're interested in this hair, 
it's from you nice the link to their website and their instagram will be in the description box down below so make sure you go check them out this wig is dope they did a thing with this one this is the one for me <laughs> i definitely would recommend you nice hair so yeah y'all y'all go check them out that's gonna be it for this video if you're new to my channel go ahead like i said make sure you subscribe to my channel because you don't want to miss out like my channel be lit baby we lit over here that's just it and like always you already know god don't put me and that's just that baby period i'm gonna catch y'all in the next video bye y'all